as you all know, it is prom season, and that means some of you will be running for prom princess or prom queen. So I decided to give you some advice on um, how to win, campaign ideas, and things you should remember while running. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already given you advice, telling you what to do, what not to do. But most of the time, those people don't even know how to win. Those people never even ran or campaigned for anything a day in their lives. So why should you listen to my advice? You should listen to me because last year in the 11th grade, I ran for a prom princess and I won. So, I mean, I have a little bit of insight. So I can just tell y'all what I did to win and some things you should do and some things you shouldn't do. So let's just hop right into the video. So first things first, you need to be consistent. So with me, we had a week to campaign and then prom was like on that Saturday. So I campaigned every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday. I made sure I had something to do each day. That just showed that I was consistent, that I really wanted to win and I deserved to win. Um, so what did I do? So I did posters. I, it was this one cute post, I'm going to insert a picture, and it was like, take what you need, and on the bottom it had slips of like, peace, joy, love, happiness, stuff like that, so when you're walking by in the hallway, and like, say you're feeling sad, so you need some happiness, you just pull the little sheet, the sheet, the slip that says happiness, and it's like you take happiness with you, and it was really cute, but I put that one in the hallway. But one thing you need to remember is who your audience is. So I was 11th grade running for prom princess. Only the 11th graders voted for me. The 10th graders, the 12th graders, no one else in the school voted except for the 11th grade. Meaning there was no reason for me to post posters all over the school when no one was voting for me except 11th grade. Y'all follow me, right? So that meant I needed to go to the teachers who taught all the 11th graders. So like at my school, we have like two classes that every 11th grader must take. So I went to their class and I asked the teacher, I said, hey, um, you teach all the 11th graders, graders, can I post my poster? Now some teachers said yes and then this one teacher said no. But what he did let me do was post my poster outside on his wall. So, you know, they still saw it. So just keep in mind who your audience is and just be consistent. Do something every day. So I post the posters and then we also have a Facebook page, a class page. And I designed, I got pictures of me and I just designed them and I wrote, um, just do it, you know, just do it is very lame, but there is no such thing as bad publicity. That's another thing that you need to keep in mind. There is no such thing as bad publicity. Meaning, when someone sees that I post just do it, but for male, with a Nike chick on the class page, it's like, it's like this. Oh my gosh, girl, she just posted, I cannot believe she just posted, like, this is so lame, just do it. What? That is so lame. Let me screenshot this and send it to my friend. What is that doing? Promoting me, yeah. So me, so it's, it's something corny, but it's gonna get people talking and it's gonna get your name out there. Another thing I did was candy bags. I went to Dollar Tree, y'all. Some cheap candy. Now it was good candy. It wasn't old expired. It was just cheap. And I got some goodie bags that said princess on it. So since I was running for prom princess, and I just put a bunch of different candy. And because I went to Dollar Tree, some of that's inexpensive, I was able to buy a lot of candy versus going to Walmart or Sam's and getting a bag of a uh, variety for $9.90 and not having enough candy for everyone in your grade. So you gotta make your money stretch. I got a bunch of candy, put it in the bags, and I passed them out during lunch. And people were so appreciative, appreciative of this. Another thing I did was I went to um, Sam's and I bought some brownies and then, and then they had these toothpicks and they had princess on the toothpicks so I stuck a toothpick inside of them and I just gave them out you know and this girl caught my brownies dry but it didn't bother me though never mind because I didn't make them I bought them that's another thing you people gonna talk about you people gonna say some negative stuff about you but you can't let it you can't let it bother you you gotta brush it off yeah my brownies might be dry but I didn't make them they store about moving them up like if, if they dry just get some water keep it moving like people gonna talk about you but you can't let what people say stop you you can't let it um, bring you down you gotta keep your head up and you gotta campaign to win I ain't ready about this right now I'm trying to win okay. you cannot bad mouth the people you're running against now after you win or after you lose whatever you do afterwards that's just what you do but during that week of campaigning don't bad mouth nobody because it's not going to make them look bad it's going to speak more on yourself so if this girl bad mouthing if you're running and you're bad mouthing me it's not how it makes me look it's how, how does that make you look 
you up here trying to win, win and you bad mouthing other people like that's not gonna make you win it's gonna make you look bad so don't talk about nobody else while you trying to win okay um next make sure you look decent all week i'm not saying you have to go out and buy five new outfits but just look the part if you want to be a princess look like a princess Can i i don't have friends okay i don't really talk to anyone outside of school like this i have like five people i talk to outside of school everyone else is just classmates they're just school acquaintances whatever you want to call them they're not really my true friends that meant i had to work extra hard like, I had to work for the title. Like, nobody was going to vote for me because I'm their friend because I don't talk to anyone. So, they had to vote for me because they saw that I was consistent. They saw I wanted it. They saw I deserved it. And that's why they voted for me. My votes didn't come because I'm their friend. They didn't vote for me because I'm their friend because it just wasn't there. That, that friendship was not there. So, if you're like me, you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to start talking to people. That week, just talk to people you wouldn't talk to. Go compliment people you usually don't compliment, okay? Someone has a nice outfit. Hey, girl, your outfit is cute. Okay. Then if that person posts a picture on Instagram, go comment some of her eyes. You got to sweet talk these people, y'all. Y'all got to get these votes, okay? Um, if you see someone sad, just give them a hug, you know. Just be nice and really friendly. Like, this is your week to put these votes in. You got to make yourself look great. You got to if the person who's running against you has a great idea, like, you see that they had a great idea, and you're like, man, I really want to do that. Don't copy what they did, but do what they did better. Do it, but do it better than what they did. Don't just copy exactly what they did, because people are going to notice. Like, if, if say, for instance, I had candy bags on Monday, then Tuesday, you come in here with candy bags. But your candy bags look worse than mine. Your candy bags don't got no candy. See, people are going to notice that. It's like, ooh. She did candy bags, but her is better. So if you're going to do candy bags, you got to step it up a notch, you know. Put some chips and a drink in it. Don't just do candy. Like, you got to make it better than the person who's going to get you. So, if you're going to copy somebody, make sure you do it better. Than At the end of my campaign, Friday, I had these uh, shirts made. So, say for instance, you're running against me. And I did shirts on Thursday. Friday, you better not come in here with no shirts. You need, to come, you need to come with something better than shirts. So, I'll say for instance, I have short, short sleeves shirts made with, like, Vote For Me, something like that, Vote For Melody. And you come in here with some hats, some snapback hats made, or come in here with a windbreaker made. Come in here with something different, you know? Just don't come in here with the shirts, I same shirts like me, because it's like I did it first, you know? Like, you got to be better. That's how you win. You got to be better than the person you win against. You got to outshine. That's if you try to win. Some people just win just for fun. You know, it win or lose, it was just fun. Like, for me, you know, I wanted to win. But if I lost, like, it was going to be okay. And that's the thing that people were saying. They was like, um, you spend out all this money on campaigning. What if you lose? But what they didn't know is that I wasn't spending money. We was going to Dollar Tree, Dollar General. We was getting this stuff for the low, low. I got it for the low, low. It wasn't. But, I mean, if I would have lost, like, it was okay. That, that was my first time running for something. I was excited. I was just ready to campaign, get my name out there. Like, it was just a fun experience. Now, winning, that, that's the goal. But if you don't win, like, it's totally okay. Be a good sportsman. The night of prom, they're about to announce prom princess and prom queen. If you don't win... Do not get up there and start crying. Do not walk out. Just be happy, smile, and clap for the person who did win. Now, I'm not saying you got to go in their face and be like, congratulations, yada, yada, yada. That's just extra. If you're not really happy for them, don't walk up in their face and be like, congratulations. Be a great sportsman if you do lose, if you do win. I mean, be excited, be happy, but try to remain humble. It's going to be hard. Try to stay humble. Walk up there and don't walk up like, ah! Just walk up there, you know, smile, accept the award. They're gonna put the crown on you, put the sash on you, and you know, just be happy, be proud of yourself. Like, you you can be proud of yourself. It's a okay to be proud of yourself. I think that's pretty much it. Just be consistent, do something every day. Um, I'm not saying you gotta go out here and spend a whole bunch of money, but just post a picture on Facebook or Instagram every day on your Snapchat. Vote for me, vote for me. Buy a little cheap little candy, make them feel nice. Comment on some Instagram pictures. Give them some hugs. Hey, girl. You cute today. Your outfit on fleek. Okay. Eyebrows on fleek. Hair on fleek. Nails on fleek. Everything. Else. Like, you gotta, you gotta work it, honey. Work it. That's if you're not popular. Now, if you're popular, if you go to a big school and you're just popular. 
popping. You're not gonna have to work as hard because people gonna work for you because they like you. But if you're not, you're gonna have to make up for that. You're gonna have to make up for it. You're gonna have to work twice as hard. But once you win, it's definitely gonna be worth it. Oh, another thing I did, I bought cupcakes. And my initials are MAE. That's what my that's where I get my YouTube name from. So my first name starts with the M, my last name starts with the E. M E me. So what I did, I got cupcakes and I put M dot E for my first name and my last name. But as my slogan, I was like, vote for me. M E. M dot E that like vote for me, Melody, and then my last name. So it was pretty fire. It was like, oh, vote for me. And then M E, cause that's her name. Like it was corny, but it was fire. Like it got people talking. It got the people talking. And on top, my cupcakes was bomb. Now those cupcakes was good. The brownies might have been dry, but my cupcakes is good. And I got chocolate and vanilla. Personally, I don't like chocolate, but people, most people do. The majority of people do. So when you're giving stuff, you have to uh, appeal to the majority. You know, not just give vanilla, cause. With a chocolate, you know? You gotta give the people what they want. And so chocolate and vanilla, that's what you need to go with. Even though I didn't like chocolate, most people do. So you gotta give people what they want. That's same thing with candy. Just cause you don't like Snickers or you don't like Hershey's, don't leave out Hershey's and Snickers in your candy bags. Cause most people do. I don't like Snickers, I don't like Butterfingers, but I know most people do, okay? So another thing, don't tell everybody your ideas. Because everybody is not your friend. Okay, say Francis, it's Monday. It's Monday. And you're running, and I'm supposed to be your friend, okay? Hey, girl, what you doing for Wednesday? Mind you, it's Monday. Hey, girl, what you doing Wednesday? Oh, then you tell me, oh, I'm going to get a uh, Ken Dad's name. I'm like, oh, okay. So it's still Monday, and then I go to my true friend, my real friend, that's running against you. And I said, oh, girl, she Wednesday, she doing candy bags. So that means you need to do some candy bags tonight. That way, tomorrow, Tuesday, you can do your candy bags, and then she's going to do hers Wednesday. But really, you're going to be doing yours first. So it's going to look like she copied you, but actually, you copying her. So then, my friend, my old true friend, that's when I get you. She go out there, she get her candy bags. Tuesday, she come with her candy bags. And look at you, look at stuck. Stuck. Like, oh man, now you gotta figure out what you're gonna do for Wednesday. Because you can't copy her no more, because then you're gonna look at the So you gotta be, now, might be mindful who you tell your business to, you know? And you can't tell everybody your ideas. Some people, you just, y'all gonna see it when you see it. When I, like, it's a surprise. See it when you see it. Yes, for everybody. Honestly, the only person that I really told my ideas were to my closest friends, the people who were helping me campaign, the people who were helping me pass out things, um, and my parents. Like I got advice from my parents. Like my friends, I just told them this is what we gonna do. I didn't want to hear their advice. I didn't want them to try to uh, persuade me. I didn't want them to try to change my mind. Like I knew what I wanted, and I wasn't gonna let anyone change that. So my parents, it was like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. Do y'all think that's a good idea? Because your parents know it's best because they're older and they have wisdom. So parents, you know, ask them for their input. But if it's something you just want to do, go for it. Don't let nobody try to change your mind. Oh, that's not a good idea. Nope. 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 I ain't got time for that. This is what I want to do and this is what we're going to do. But yeah, that's how I won. I hope y'all learned something. Mm -hmm. If you're running for prom princess or prom queen or king or prince, then comment below and let me know. Oh, don't forget, I have the giveaway that's open. It's going to be open until uh, April 30th. April 30th. So make sure you like, comment, and make sure you subscribe so you can enter the giveaway. You must be subscribed to enter, okay? And I'm going to link the video um, in the description box. So you can see everything I'm giving away. I'm giving away some pretty bomb stuff, y'all. Some nail polish, some eyeshadow, some um, makeup brushes, a jewelry rack, a keychain puff. Like, it's lit. It's lit over here. So, <laughs> make sure you comment and subscribe and like once again. And 